everybody. I'm Tasha from the Major Change Group. And today we're going to be talking about the American Express Gold Card. Now, I recently applied for the American Express Gold Card. And I know, you know, when you hear people talking about the Gold Card, they're always going to say, okay, with the $120 Uber or Uber Eats credit and then the dining credit, that's going to be $240. But I can say for myself, that really wasn't the selling point for me because that's not going to be within my natural spending. So let me know in the comments, is that your selling point for the American Express Gold Card? So I was looking to apply for another credit card, even if I didn't apply for the American Express Gold Card. Some of my criteria was going to be four times the points for dining, because that's going to be my highest expense for the month. And then four times the points for groceries, and then four times the points for gas. Now this American Express Gold Card does not have a gas category, so we're going to look, you know, I'm thinking four times the points for dining and groceries. Is it really going to make it worth it having this American Express card? We're going to see. We're going to crunch the numbers. Now, probably the main reason that I did apply for the American Express Go card is because they had the 90,000 membership reward points because the last time they had the, this many membership reward points in December, I had kind of slept on it. And then when I was going to do it, they didn't have it anymore. And so I feel like between every six and eight months, they'll have it, but you never know. And I saw it and then I was still kind of playing around, but they had sent me a offer in my email and I said, I'm not going to play around with it. And I had went ahead and applied, but I will say besides the 90 K membership reward points, the four times the points for dining <laughs> that really sold me. So let's take a look to see, okay, how does this really play out and making it worth it for me? In this example, I'm only going to be using my dining and my grocery budget since this card has the four times the points because on everything else is going to be one times the points. And I don't want to add that in there because, of course, I'm going to be using other credit cards, especially for gas. For the third quarter, I'm going to be using the Discover It because it has 5% cash back. But, you know, on the one hand, you know, thinking about it, I got to get that 4000 minimum spend. So I'm going to crunch the numbers on that a little bit later to see. But as of right now, for this example, we're just going to be using the grocery and dining. So let me share my screen. So taking a look at this, I have it broken out by my dining and my groceries. So for the year, I'm saying that I'm usually spending around $550 for dining. And then I got $2,000 for groceries. So that's going to be 28,000 points for dining and groceries, four times the points. So that's going to be $264 value for dining. And then that's going to be $80 value for groceries. And then that'll be $344 value just for four times the points for my spending in a year on my American Express Gold Card. And we know that we have the credit. So we have $120 dining credit. And then we have a $120 Uber and Uber Eats credit. Now for me with the dining credit, I'm, I don't know because with the six different restaurants that they have, I would say for the most part, it's going to be Shake Shack and possibly the Cheesecake Factory, but I really don't go that often. But I did make sure that I went for the month of June. <laughs> so that was good. And then for Uber and Uber Eats, I don't really use Uber and Uber Eats as that much either, but I did do Uber Eats and I went to pick it up. So for right now, I'm going to try to make it happen, but it's not really within my natural spending. So then that's going to be $240. So now we're going to break down the overall value. So for year one and year two, my spending will be the same and that's going to be total value of $344. But then you know how we got the $250 annual fee, but then we'll have the $240 credit. So that'll really be just like having a $10 annual fee. You know, that's what they say. But for year one, we're going to have that um, 90,000 membership reward bonus. So that's going to have a $900 credit. So total profit for year one is $1,234. And that could give or take, you know, depending on the spending, especially if your spending is more than mine, you know, it could be a little bit more. So here it goes for year two, we still got that 344. 
and then there's not going to be a bonus and then we'll have to pay the um the ten dollars so then that's going to be 334 dollars so for year one definitely it's going to be worth it because i will you know get 1234 dollars so i'm pretty excited about that but we're gonna have to see now let me know in the comments because i've really been thinking about this dining credit and then the uber eats or the uber credit so i've been thinking about these credits and y'all have to let me know in the comments because i hear everybody saying you know especially if they have this american express gold card that you know you'll end up only having to pay ten dollars but let me know are you guys really using the 240 dollars in the credits are you using a uh, uber monthly to where you will get the ten dollars or are you using the dining credit? Because see, the thing is, I went to the Shake Shack and I ended up spending like $19. I got me a chicken sandwich, I got fries, and I got a drink. So it's $19. Now, I haven't seen the $10 credit post on my account yet, but I'll probably have to wait until the end of the billing cycle and then they'll post everything. So I'll definitely keep you posted on that. So let me know in the comments or have you tried this? Have you order through uber eats shake shack for example and so if you order it through uber eats and you pay your 19 dollars, well technically that's not that's not going to be the full 20 dollars. but let's say if it was 20 dollars, do you think that you would you know you would get the 10 dollar uber credit do you think since you spent it at shake shack that you would still get the dining credit I wonder if anybody has done that. I don't know. I'm just trying to figure it out because I'm not going to necessarily say, I mean, I don't know. Would I go to the Shake? I could probably go to the Shake Shack one time every month, <laughs> but we'll have to see because the last time that I had used Uber Eats, I had ordered me a pizza and, it, and the pizza ended up being more than if I had ordered the pizza on the website because I had got me a pizza at Papa. No, I had got me a pizza at Pizza Hut. And usually I can give me a coupon. And so it would have been probably like $16. And it ended up being $19. And then, you know, I used the $10. And so I'm just like, I'm just trying to figure it out because on the same hand, I'm really spending a little bit more because it's not in my natural spending. And so that's why for me, the $240 credit, I can't say that that was going to be my motivation for applying for it. And so that's why I want you guys to tell me if you have the American Express Gold card, are you maximizing your $240? Um, of the credits. <laughs> so let me know in the comments and let me know what kind of tips and tricks because I'm going to figure it out what's going to be the best way. But I know for sure for this month, I think I'm going to be good because I am going to be, I'm going to be using Uber this month. So I'll be good. So let me know. What do you think? And if you have had your American Express gold card for more than a year, has it been worth it? you know, after year one, because I don't know, but we'll have to see because I can always downgrade it to the American Express green card and it only has $150 annual fee on that one. So we'll have to see. Please like, subscribe, share with a friend, turn your notification bell on so you'll be notified when new content comes out. And I thank you so much for watching. Until next time. It's not a game, it's a